What is a user story? How do you write one? And come on, let's have some examples. Hello, welcome back to the Software Innovation Lab. If you're new here, my name is Dale Richards. I'm a software innovator in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love making software that changes the world. I'm building a SaaS product from concept to cash, and I'm taking you with me for the ride. If you want to build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. All right, so you're working on your app, you're trying to plan all of the stuff that is in it, all the features and how the user's gonna move from screen to screen in your app. How do you break down those features and describe them so that you can give clear directions to your developers? In software development, we typically break down our work into what we call user stories. A user story is a brief statement describing what action a user wants to take to achieve an outcome. So there's a really simple user story formula that I like to use and that a lot of people like to use in industry, and it goes like this. As a type of user, I want to do A so that B. Here's a really simple example, probably one of the most basic examples of a user story. As a new user, I want to create an account so I can log in. It's pretty simple, yeah. User stories should be short, clear, and describe a single specific action. So those are kind of our criteria. If we're writing user stories and we realize that the user story is it's way too long, uh, it's really vague, it's not clear enough to describe what the user is trying to do or the intent of that user, then uh, we're probably a little bit off. So here's some example user stories from our dental office manager slash vocational trade school <laughs> recruiting app. Uh, here's, the, here's the first one. As a job seeker, I want to create a user profile so that employers can learn more about me. Okay, so. As a job seeker, I've specified the type of user because we have more than one type of user in this specific application. I want to create a user profile, that's A, so the very specific action that I'm taking so that employers can learn more about me. So there's some other outcome that uh, I want to achieve or there's some intent that I have. I'm not just creating a user profile so I can have a user profile, I'm doing it so that I can ultimately accomplish some kind of business outcome and that is in this case for the job seeker, getting a job. Now notice that part B of the user story formula is really about intent. Why is the user trying to do A? Well, it's so that they can accomplish B. And in a lot of cases, we think that we've written a good user story uh, and maybe we have written the clear part for A, but maybe B isn't very clear and so we don't really know like, what's the intent of this specific user story. Here's some more examples. As a job seeker, I want to add a photo of myself to my profile so employers can see what I look like. How about this one? As a vocational instructor, I want to create profiles for all my graduates so that they can contribute their profile details. Okay, now this is starting to kind of push the edge. We're starting to get into the boundaries of like, well, how clear and specific is that? Okay, so as a vocational instructor, I want to create profiles for all my graduates. So that's A. That in and of itself is pretty clear. I want to be able to create profiles, except that maybe we haven't specified how. Am I creating them one by one? Am I creating them like by importing them from a spreadsheet? So there's some more detail on how A here, creating the profiles for all the graduates could be clarified. All right, then also we've got B so that they can contribute their profile details. Now in some cases, it's okay not to have all the detail around the intent for B because we're going to describe that later. Here's another example. As a vocational instructor, I want to see a list of my graduates and their employers so I can reach out and ask how things are going. That's okay, it could be clarified a little bit. Maybe we could say, as a vocational instructor, I want to see a list of my graduates and their employers with their employer's contact information so I can reach out and ask how things are going. Okay, now, it's your turn. Let's see if you can figure out what is good or bad about these user stories. And in some cases, I've actually taken these user stories from previous work that we've done or previous work that we've ingested from other uh, user story authors from other companies. So these are actual user stories on projects that we worked on in the past. See if you can figure out what's wrong with these user stories. As a user, I would like to be able to receive mobile push notifications with daily affirmations. What do you think? Is that a really clear user story? Well, I want to be able to receive mobile push notifications. Okay, fine. But with daily affirmations, so first of all, what kind of daily affirmations? Like what's the intent of the daily affirmation? Is it to tell me that I'm a good person? Is it to tell me that I can overcome difficulty? Uh, so we don't really know much about what is the context of these affirmations? Now, we could resolve that by just attaching a list of what the affirmations are to uh, the user story if we were gonna manage this in some kind of a system like JIRA, and we'll talk about 
management systems later in an entirely separate video. Uh, but if we could attach a list of affirmations to the story, that would be really helpful. At least that way the designer and the developers can see what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Now, what's missing from this user story? Okay, as a user, I would like to be able to receive mobile push notifications with daily affirmations. How often? Daily? Is it just one time daily? Is it like 9 a.m. Eastern time daily? Is it 9.02 a.m.? Is it like 9.02 a.m. In, in, in whichever time zone you're in? Is it a random time throughout the day? Like, when are we gonna push these notifications? If they're daily, like, let's, let's have some more information about that. Also, does everyone in the entire user base get the same affirmation on the same day? Are we ordering the affirmations so that on day one, I get affirmation one, and on day two, I get affirmation two? And if you're a day behind me, do you start with affirmation one or affirmation two? So like, there's a lot about managing and administering daily affirmations or push notifications that we don't really have clarity on, you know, for this user story. So I give this one like a B minus ish. How about this one? As a corporate HR user, I would like to manage the daily affirmations that are pushed to my corporate users. Okay, all right. So I want to manage the daily affirmations that are pushed to my corporate users. I give this one more like a C minus. And the reason why is because how do we want to be able to manage the daily affirmations? Do we want to add an affirmation? Do we want to edit an existing affirmation? Do we want to delete an affirmation? And so a lot of times we think that we've clarified what we want, but, but we really haven't. We need to be really specific about operations like uh, create, edit, delete, those kinds of things. So uh, you could fix this by saying, as a corporate HR user, I would like to add a new daily affirmation to push to all of my corporate users. Okay, how about this one? As a corporate HR user, I would like to see reports outlining unidentified how do employees feel data. Okay, what is this saying? I'm not quite sure. So um, I'm getting really, really nitpicky here, but what's wrong here? I think we're missing some punctuation. Like, let's try to fix that first. As a corporate HR user, I would like to see reports outlining unidentified how do employees feel data. Okay, now I know what we're talking about. We're talking about data that employees have entered about how they feel. So just even putting the quotes around how do employees feel makes this user story that much more clear. But we're still missing something in this story. We're missing the intent. Like, what is this corporate HR user going to do next once they see these reports that outline this unidentified how do employees feel data? And, and then what exactly does that mean? How is it unidentified? As a corporate HR user, I would like to see reports outlining how do employees feel data from unidentified users so that I can maintain the security of my corporate account. Okay, now we have the intent, the B part of the formula. So there you go, some quick tips on how to create user stories with some examples. So as a type of user, I want to do A, so that B, and also don't forget to make sure that your user stories are short, clear, that they describe a single specific action and its intent. All right, thanks for joining. Next time on the Software Innovation Lab, we're gonna talk about how we can take the stories and map them together so we can chart the path of the user through the application. We'll see you next time. Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.